I'd like to show you a problem that I'm seeing with a lot of import grinders that I've been trying out in the stores where the wheels don't sit true to the shaft in the arbor. The uh, wheels have a side to side wobble and uh, the only one I haven't seen this on is the ball door grinder. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. If you put your pencil here on the tool rest and hold it still and you rotate the grinder wheels you can see that side to side wobble. What that means is the wheel is not sitting perpendicular and uh, basically if you put your tool to that you're going to be hearing a skipping and it's just not a smooth surface. It's okay if you have one of these wheels where you can dress the face. That'll take care of some of the, the oval on the front, but on the side, that won't fix the problem. And if the wheel adjusts a position, then that will need to be redressed because it's all in, in a different position. So what happens if I have a wheel where I can't dress the face, like this CBN wheel here? It's basically a giant chunk of steel with diamonds on the face. I need to get rid of that side to side wobble somehow without shimming it, which is not a good solution. So I got these wheels from woodturnerswonders.com who sells the Rikon grinder, which I bought, and sells these wheels as a set. And I was wondering how they could get it to work so it's running true. And it's because they sell these special magical spherical washers that apparently have a uh, self-seating, self-aligning cup and saucer type situation going on. Let me open them and find out what it is. So this is a set of three. I don't know what it is yet, but apparently it's like a cup and socket type of washer. And they, they seat themselves against each other and somehow it fixes the wobble. I'm not sure how I'll have to experiment with it, but I'm going to put these wheels on with these washers and I'm going to see if it makes a difference. So I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting the nut to fully reach the washer and the wheel, but the threads only go this far, so it's like I need a, a bushing so uh, I'm going to try using the washers now, since I have no choice and I, I'm not going to build it up with a whole bunch of washers. So I'm glad I bought the precision ground washers that they sell on their website when I bought these CBN wheels. Uh, I didn't know if I'd need them or not, but I grabbed four of them so I can shim out uh, the wheel so the nut will actually reach the wheel because the, the threads don't seem to go very far. So I'm going to put the one on the outside and put the wheel on. I'm going to put the other one on the outside of the wheel. And then here are these uh, special washers. What this is, is this is the one that goes on first. This is a cup shape, so you can see it's concaved. And uh, this one is convexed, which fits into the concave. So how I think this works is if the nut is going on crooked, like if it's going on, this is an ex extreme example, but if the nut, because of the thread tilting, is going on at an angle, it won't torque the it won't, it won't slant the wheel out of position. It will uh, hit this washer, which will spin it so it rotates if it wants to. I think it will allow the slanted nut to go on and the wheel would uh, keep true to the inside arbor. So I'm pretty sure that's how it works. It allows these things to rotate. So I'm going to put this on first, and it says to get grease, so I have to grease this up so it'll be able to slide inside that one, so I'm going to get some grease here. So here's some just multi-purpose grease, I'm going to dab my finger in there. I'm going to put it on the con next side make 
it's with that guy. And then I should be able to put this on. So what I'm expecting is these two washers, when the nut goes on, well, they'll sort of change positions a little bit. And I saw them sort of change. I don't feel a, a ridge, though, if they were to shift positions, so it seems like they went on straight to each other. I was expecting them to go, um, like, off, and I'd be able to feel a ridge, but I don't feel anything. So let me just tighten that up. So now I'm going to spin the wheel and see if it made any improvement. Here's my pencil. Spin the other wheel. That looks really true to me. You especially see it on the background here. But I'm going to gently touch my pencil to the edge and I'm going to see. Depends on how still I can keep my finger. You'll hear the grinding if it's off a bit. It's barely touching. Go a bit closer. That's almost perfect. It's a lot better than, uh, than I thought and it's a lot better than the other wheel. So I'm going to go to the other wheel and I'm going to do a comparison here. This is the wheel on the other side. It's gonna turn. So you can see the big difference here. So I don't know if the improvement was the special spherical washers that sort of uh, changed the position on the outside seating where the nut is, or it could be the precision ground washer on the inside. I doubt though. I feel hear that. That's terrible if I were to grind my lathe chisels on that, it'd be skip, 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 skip. Wouldn't want that. So I'm really happy with the CBN wheels that I bought from woodturnerswonders.com. Uh, they definitely took out the side-to-side -side wobble that I was afraid of when I bought the Rikon grinder and I first saw the stock wheels uh, turning. Um, I don't know if it was because of the spherical washers that I bought extra to correct the way that the nut was seating itself, possibly crooked on the outside of the wheel. Uh, it could also have been the fact that I took off the stamped flanges that came with the stock Rikon setup and replaced it with the spherical washers plus the precision ground washer that I bought extra as well. Uh, but uh, that's my review and I, it was successful to me. I recommend them for sure and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Just one more thing before I leave. I just want to show you that when I did the second side, these spherical washers definitely changed position, so they definitely did a trick. When the nut went on tight, these things just uh, changed position. You, you can see the raised ridge here of when, of when it moved up. So, definitely did a good job there. <laughs>